Hey guys, it's me, Neon Jacket, bringing you another forest guide. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the rebreather. Now, the way I'm going to show you how to get to the cave will be the easiest way for you, because it is kind of up in the woods and tucked away. So, I'm in the very southwest part of the map, over by the big tree and the anchor. Once you find this, you want to go over to this rock and look straight that way. And you'll see a, like a clearing in between the trees. You want to run that way. And as soon as we get into the forest, it won't be too far in. It's just right up here. Right there. Now, there are four cannibals that you will find down here. Two of them are as soon as you hit the bottom. And then two more are after we go uh, a bit farther into the cave. Now, this is day one. Um, if you're on a different day, then y you have a chance of having mutants down here, but it might only be one. Alright, so as soon as we get down here, here's the rope. We're going to turn. You'll face this way. You want to turn around and go this way towards the light. Now... There should be two cannibals in here. Um, not hearing or seeing anything. Alright, um, I guess I got lucky. So, once you clear out this room, I'm just gonna walk over here. Uh, and there will be this wall. This is the area you wanna go. You're gonna be down the wall. We're just going to walk through. Now, once we get out on the other side, this is where another mutant, oh, a mutant, or a cannibal will spawn. But I guess they're not spawning for me. Um, there will either be two cannibals or a mutant and a cannibal. You don't have to fight them if you don't want to. You can just run past them and go here, then climb down. And there will be another one. You're going to climb down this one. You can jump down that one. That one won't hurt you. This one I do not suggest jumping down. Because it's a bit longer. Now once we're down here, we're just going to go straight this way. And from here, you're clear. There will be no more cannibals for you to fight. Uh, I believe that's a toy piece, right? No, it's a cross. Alright. And we're just going to go straight down here. As soon as you see that hanging skull lantern, you're going to get here, going to turn left, and voila, a rebreather and a poor, poor dead man. Um, you don't have to, that, you, that's not an exit you want to take. You want to go all the way back up. Um, yeah, you want to go all the way back up. <clears throat> now, down here, it only gives you one... You have two air canisters from down here. And then your breather is right behind your backpack. You press uh, left click on it to wear. And you can press right click on it to unequip. And that's how you get it on and off, just so you know, because that's kind of important. Um, there are two more canisters on the yacht, which is also on the southwest part of the island where I started us. It's on the other side of the little... Uh, where the tree is, it goes out in the water, and then on the left side, looking at the tree on the left side, there's the yacht, on the right, there's the anchor. Um, so if you do run out of air canisters, which you shouldn't, depending on how much you use it, uh, then go on the yacht, there will be two air canisters sitting on the yacht for you. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, comment if you want to see any specific guide before I put it out, just because I'm kind of doing it at random at this moment. Um, I posted the climbing axe yesterday, so go check that out. All of these are necessary to finish the game. <clears throat> well, most of them. The ones that are unnecessary, I'll probably be posting last unless they are asked for. So thank you guys for watching, and remember, shine bright.
neon bright. Bye.